Imagine, if you will, a towering monument standing tall for over 3,000 years, a silent sentinel to the passage of time. This is Cleopatra's Needle, an obelisk with an origin as ancient as the sands of Egypt. Born from the quarries of Aswan during the reign of Pharaoh Thutmose III around 1450 BC, this grand obelisk initially found its home in the sun-drenched city of Heliopolis, Egypt. Its sandstone form, etched with hieroglyphs, has been a silent witness to millennia of history unfolding. Despite its name, Cleopatra's Needle has a surprising twist. It bears no direct connection to the famed Queen Cleopatra herself. In fact, the queen was born over a thousand years after this obelisk was erected. The moniker Cleopatra's Needle is a misnomer, a product of Western fascination with the queen's intriguing and dramatic life. This grand relic of a time long past was destined for a journey that would take it far from its desert home. Now, picture a daring venture, a journey across seas and continents to bring this ancient artifact to a new home in London. The obelisk, known as Cleopatra's Needle, was not a gift from Cleopatra herself, but rather from the ruler of Egypt and Sudan in 1819. Here's a twist for you. It wasn't until 1877, over half a century later, that the obelisk was transported to the UK. Why the delay, you might ask? Well, the transportation of a 68-foot, 224-ton obelisk is no small feat. This is where the Freemason Erasmus Wilson comes into play. A renowned dermatologist and philanthropist, Wilson funded the transportation of the obelisk to London. He was deeply invested in the project, and it is thanks to his dedication and financial backing that the obelisk made its way to its current home. To transport the obelisk, the Dixon brothers of Northeast England, known for their engineering prowess, built a special cylindrical container. This was a colossal iron cylinder, given the affectionate name of Cleopatra. Cleopatra was designed to be both a protective casing for the obelisk and a floating pontoon to carry it across the sea. However, the journey was not smooth sailing. As Cleopatra was crossing the Bay of Biscay, a violent storm broke out. The casket carrying the obelisk broke loose, resulting in a tragic incident where six brave men drowned. Despite the loss, the obelisk remained undamaged, a testament to the Dixon brothers' engineering skills. Despite the odds, Cleopatra's needle weathered the storm and continued on its journey carrying with it an enduring mystery. This journey marked by human determination, loss and resilience is a significant chapter in the story of Cleopatra's Needle. But the journey doesn't end here, there's still the mystery of what the Freemason left beneath this massive obelisk, but that's a story for another time. As the Needle was finally erected on the banks of the Thames in 1881, a new chapter in its tale was written, one shrouded in mystery and speculation. Our story now turns to one of the Dixon brothers, who were instrumental in this monumental project. It was during the erection of the obelisk that, an observant onlooker, noticed something peculiar. One of the brothers was seen placing a cigar box beneath the massive stone structure. This act, seemingly insignificant at the time, would become the seed of a mystery that continues to flourish to this day. The Dixon brothers were not just engineers, they were also Freemasons. Freemasonry, a society known for its secretive rituals and symbols, was deeply involved in the project. The obelisk's journey to London had been funded by a Freemason, Erasmus Wilson, and the brothers had constructed the specially designed casket that carried it. So, what was in the cigar box? What mysterious item or items did the Freemason Dixon brother feel compelled to place under this ancient Egyptian monument? Theories abound, each more intriguing than the last. Some propose it was a set of Masonic symbols, a time-honored tradition to mark their involvement. Others suggest it might contain documents or artifacts of historical significance. But without tangible evidence, these remain mere speculations. The curious case of the cigar box has never been definitively solved. The box remains undisturbed, its contents a secret locked away beneath the obelisk. Despite our advanced technology and historical knowledge, the box continues to elude discovery, its contents shielded by the sheer weight of the obelisk and the respect for preserving historical landmarks. And so, Cleopatra's Needle stands today, a monument not only to an ancient civilization, but also to a mystery that continues to captivate the imagination. This towering obelisk serves as a constant reminder of our past and our ongoing quest for knowledge, always inviting us to look deeper, to question, and to explore the mysteries that history has left in its wake.